the haptic feedback was where we got into the controller, and I think that's uh, talking about smooth transition between controller to console. Which, as I was trying to say, but then you couldn't hear me, uh, would be kind of difficult because it would have to go from the controller into the console itself and the console's receptor from the con of the controller. I mean, I can kind of understand that they're trying to make it, it as much as they possibly can to where I, uh, I you don't have to have that cable. Yeah, I, I think it'd be easier to do that with a cable. So, yeah. And, um... The thing is, is cabled, uh, cabled controllers. Save the image. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Sam. Not only that, but how much money have you all spent replacing a cable? <laughs> yeah, um, we don't want to talk about that number. Oh, why not? I mean, yeah. uh, that, that, I brings up a, that brings up a good question, though, because are they going to make the cables that do exist more resilient? Or are they going to do... Um, something that like what my xbox 360 controllers have um uh my 360 controllers have a rechargeable back and i have a stand for that are they gonna keep that mandatory and come with the console itself well that or brings gonna, up go ahead or are they gonna have the cord charging standard like we do on the playstation 4 that brings up a very good point, and as I said before, we all went to a little bit of a break there, and then got re, you know, reacquainted and everything, or rejoined and everything. Uh, that we would go into talking about the um, what you get with the, with when you buy the system. Yeah. Uh, you briefly did talk about the camera. Um, yeah. And what you're going, you, you are going to get an HD camera when you buy the system. Yeah, which I I have a screenshot I'm going to send you so you can put that up on stream with, with everything. It that looks like, like you would have to have a flat surface for it. Yeah, it really does because, like, something like uh, most of the surfaces in my room actually, it looks like it just slipped right on off and. You know, so it it looks like you'd have to keep something behind it, right? So that it could stay. There's and another thought. Like that. that wing structure that comes up off the tower, because it looks like you have no choice but to have this thing standing. Um, yeah. could have, could that even be possibly a mount for the camera? Yeah. Um. Hey, baby. It looks like the console itself is going to come with a TV-like remote. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's your media remote. So, like, if you're watching any kind of media yeah. off a flash drive, or even if you pop an Ultra Blu-ray 4K uh, yeah. a disc in, that you can control it from, like, that kind of device instead of um, having to use yeah. Yeah, use the I controller. Want to, I wanted to touch on that. That's something I haven't seen in any console. And I, I think that's really really cool they tried it a, a few times f with playstation but Thank it was you, really really only able to control like if you were watching like a dvd but from the looks at this it looks like it's going to integrate also you know how you can go to that separate menu where you have all your streaming services yeah it looks like it's going to be functional for that as well yeah. hey guys yes. let's just be honest Oh, it comes with a thing that we're going to lose in the first five seconds of owning it? Oh, yeah, yeah nice. 100%. Okay. My daughter's going to run off with it. <laughs> yeah, but, let's just be real. Let's just be real, folks. <laughs> You'll lose it in the first five minutes of owning the fucking remote. Either that or stick it in a drawer and forget about it because you're so used yeah, to using the console. Yeah, stick it in a drawer and be like, oh, yeah, man. Just, this thing comes with a remote? What? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah that, that's a good point. I'm, I'm so used to using my controller at this point. Hell, when I'm watching stuff off regular TV, I sometimes grab my PlayStation controller. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so yeah, the uh, controller themselves are, are, are a dual sense wireless controller. I mean, come on, guys, we already knew this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking about the uh, controllers again, uh, remember what you said about the uh, USB ports. I mean, I the, to see if, uh, these Dread controllers look like a goddamn fucking batarang, dude. They're going to put USB or USB. Wait a minute. Where's the US gonna be? Is it gonna be USB female or USB male in the controller? It's it's the like a flash drive. Like a mini so it's flash gonna be drive. a USB male. Why the hell would they put a USB male inside the controller? That's what I'm I saying. Sony, I love you guys, but d don't don't do that. You guys have time before it releases. Don't do that. I was, Please. Uh, I was saying earlier how I thought that that was a good idea, but also a bad one. Um, you know that spot right next to where you plug in your headset on the PlayStation 4 controller? So you're basically That's talking what? like an, uh, an iPhone-style charger, mini USB-style charger, to be able to hook from your controller to your buddy's controller if yeah. there's no USB port available. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like, if they... Well, also, I think they should have more than one USB on the PlayStation 5. Yeah, that, I agree with that. that. Just sounds I agree that with that. Just, well, there's, there's two on my PlayStation 4. Yeah, there's. I also have two, which I don't like. I think there should also be one in the back. Yeah, on every console, I say there should be at least three. Now, I understand, like, where Dread's going. A female port, that's simplified by, like I was saying earlier, the ability to charge your controller anywhere, not necessarily your your console. It, yeah. it doesn't need to be in your console. For example... Yeah. Listen here, Sony, you know, just, just giving you a bit of a heads up. You have, They have the right idea with the PS4. You know, because I, I charge mine off of my, um, my phone charger. Because right. they are literally identical USB mi micros. I do the same. And, and what, you, what, I, what I do is I'm just like, okay, now why would I go out of my way to have a different setup when you know like for example okay you don't want to be sitting right in front of your massive tv so what you go out and uh you would go out and buy a six eight twelve foot usb cord and you'd be able to sit back on your bed and charge your 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 uh controller from the uh charge it I'm, you guys get what I'm saying. You'll be yeah, able to right. charge it from a distance. Mm -hmm. Yes, from, from the console. console. So now, yeah. see, now what's the what, what's the thing that Liam just got done talking about? How uh, whenever you try to stand up, it, you stand it, up, forget it's there. You're like, because you're, you know, this is a wireless controller. It's not meant to be wired. Yeah. Um, the only time it's meant to be wired is when this thing is charging. Is the only time, and even then, it, that 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 could be. That could be better. They w w they have plenty of time before release. You want to know what I would really like to see, Sony? This is a hint. I'm 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 giving you a little bit of a you know an elbow nudge, is for them to come out with. Uh, you guys know about those new Samsung Galaxy chargers where you literally just set your phone on a flat freaking surface and it charges your phone wirelessly. Right. That needs to be done. Because, uh, w come on, when you own a console, you're already going to have enough freaking wires all over the place. Why do you want to add one more to the equation? Well, uh, I was talking about something earlier about charging. Go ahead. Uh, um, so, you remember on the Xbox 360 how sometimes <laughs> they had those rechargeable backs and you uh -huh. just put them in a charging station? That is also another good thing. Yeah, I, I, uh, that screenshot I sent everyone it looks like they are trying to add a charging station to the putting it out in the console. Valid like point. Stay. When you buy your PlayStation 5, as I mentioned earlier, not only is it going to come with two, actually, I don't think I did say that. It's going to come with two controllers. Yeah, I was about to say, Dual I sense. think it should come. Yeah. Dual yeah. sense wireless controllers. It's also going to come, like we said, with the HD camera. It's coming with a dual sense charging station. 
Yeah, that charging station, I'd say, like, you can put it next to your bed or something. Put right. your controller on the... Like on an alarm bed, clock, almost. Yeah, I, take your controller off the other one, and then just keep, uh... Put your one controller on it, take the other one off, and just keep playing your game. And having one charge, uh, every now and then, like, flip-flop it. Right. And I, I think that they should try to have the batteries last as long as the, um, as the charging, how long it charges. I, I get your point there. You know, just like, uh, you know, a longer really longevity, you know, battery pack, yeah. and in addition to all that, uh, maybe they could design a new controller later on down the road that features that. Yeah. I think the uh, last thing, really, we haven't talked about as far as what's coming in the box is a Pulse 3D headset. Yeah. yeah this isn't was... that little earpiece piece of shit that came with the PS4 that we even heard Mr. Crowley last night complaining. Yeah, he was saying how his ear was bleeding. He swore to God it worked tonight. He was like, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. I said, lies. I'm, I'm tell me, I'm not the only one that heard him say his ear was bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was actually about to start touching up on that headset. It looks like... It will take a micro USB charger, which could get annoying, but also could be very good at the same time. I think they should try to have a headset dock that comes with the console itself. That's something that could possibly do for the future, yeah. That you could put next to your bed, as I was saying with the controller charging dock. You could put that next to your bed and then have your headset charging. Um, another cool thing is if, like, they had a plug-in for the headset stand, and it just charged, and there was a micro USB coming off the stand itself, so that you can plug in your controller. Right, or right. Headset, rather, not controller. My bad. Yeah, I was also thinking about that. I was going to say something about that. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, that that sounds amazing. Like, instead of, you know, if, like, your Bluetooth headset, RC, um, mm -hmm. you have to just stop using that for a while and use your PlayStation camera. Oh, it'd be better if you could just have your headset charging at all times. I kind of get what you're saying, man. I, I mean, numerous times we've gotten ready to do stuff, and I've been like, all right, talking to you guys over to the, the camera mic. I'm waiting for my shit to charge. I'm waiting for my shit to charge. I'm waiting yeah. for my shit to charge. You know? <laughs> yeah. Maybe a longer-lasting battery with the headset, too. Like, just, uh, just about as long as the controller, if that's possible. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. If that is even possible because i mean with the look of that headset it doesn't look like it would last too long okay so guys uh before we dive in to the game list that i have here we're going to sit here and touch on the price which they really haven't revealed but if you look online um there's a guy uh, i don't want to say guy but there's there are places that are offering in the uk a pre-order of the playstation 5 for five hundred euro or uh, pounds rather oh, and I, I, I believe that roughly translates into like 760 US dollars now I euro? yeah okay I got that uh, 564.67 US dollars so basically it's going to be around 500 600 dollars all right, that's cool. I can deal with that, considering that the standard one's supposed to have a one terabyte hard drive, and the digital yeah, is supposed to have a two terabyte Sorry, hard guys, drive. My but as we were just getting ready to talk, uh, there's really no price reveal. Uh, Sony says that it's, uh, I can't remember the exact wording they used, but negative. It, it, it's I have some information. If you don't mind me interjecting, go right ahead. I heard that the console will be no more for, and mind you, all, all the guys watching the stream, all the guys and gals, 
they're they're going to want the better one right off the get most likely it's going to be right around five hundred dollars for the two terabyte with disk drive because i really still hope they don't think about sacrificing the terabyte drive just because it has the rom yeah yeah no i th there's going to be from my knowledge there's going to be a one terabyte, there's going to be a two terabyte, and then they're going to come out with a generation um, within the first few months of it being released where it's going to have a three terabyte hard drive. Because let's just face it, the, the maximum that a PS Pro can go up to is a one terabyte hard drive unless you add an external hard drive to it. Right. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to buy a $500 system, download four games because, you know, they're going to be massive file updates because of how beautiful and detailed they are through the PS5. And then spend 50 and to $100 on additional drives. Exactly. Yeah, you have to turn exactly. around and spend $200 on a 5 terabyte hard drive to download 10 more games. Yeah. You know, that's kind of counterproductive. That kind right. of wastes the potential of the system. So that they will be coming out with a three terabyte, and obviously after you use up your three terabytes, you you're know still you're going to go to that external. But. Go to that external, but the thing that I like is they're going to keep the same hardware to where you're going to be able to use an external that you used for your PS4 on the PS5. That brings up a good point. Would you at that point be able to take your PS4 hard drive, plug it yes. into your PS5, All and then be able to have will your be access? Identical. All of that hardware will be identical. Your ter your your extra hard drive will be compatible with the PS5. So you can just literally unplug it from your PS4 and put it right in your PS5, and you're good to go. That's what's up. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that there. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, we were touching on that price being like you know we're hoping it'd be around five six hundred dollars. Sony was saying like something along the lines of it being affordable and acceptable pricing. Uh, there's some jackass out there saying that the first generation console was going to be like 750, and then the the digital system was going to be closer to a thousand dollars for the two terabyte. I don't see that flying with consumer base at all. So I exactly. agree with you. Remember what happened with the release of the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro? Oh, Does yeah. anyone exactly. remember that? Yeah, yeah. the release prices. of a system that we was identical to a system you already owned, but to upgrade it, you had to pay $850 when it was brand new. Now, why would you want to go and turn around and spend $300 on a system that I'll has 500 you, gigs? I'll tell you right here, I ain't using a Pro. I'm still using my fat PS4 system with external hard drive, and it still serves me like a trooper. Uh, I don't I give a fuck. You can wrap something in, in plastic and call it for, uh, sweet fucking fruity candy, but it's still the butterscotch that I bought on day one. <laughs> I am still using the console I got uh, with my Infinite Warfare disc, actually. Back when that deal was going on. I think like two years ago now. So, real quick before we dive into the games, things that are still rumored. Uh, one, the extent of the backwards compatibility. Uh, we touched on that uh, earlier, and I, I revealed to you all that uh, it's digital-based, backwards compatibility, anything from the 3 on, as far as I'm aware of right now. Like, you couldn't stick a PS2 disc or a PS1 disc in there and expect it to play. Um, I see pros and cons with that. Uh, what remains to be seen. I mean, there's still things to be revealed. Um... Uh, another thing that still remains rumored, uh, you actually broke the news last night, and I even told you that that was fact, uh, uh, the Discord addition <coughs> to your streaming and chatting and partying uh, capabilities, they did not reveal that, um, so that still unfortunately remains in the rumor mail, although I and Dread both are saying that this is fact. They are going to do it. Officially, we can't say Yep, they're doing it, but it is happening. Um, another thing I want to touch on is them incorporating higher titles from um, Blizzard Entertainment, like World of Warcraft. 
they are getting that. They did not talk about it, but they are still moving forward with that project. I'm personally excited with that. Uh, there was something else I wanted to touch on, still remaining rumors, but it slips in my mind at the moment. Ah, the VR being built into the system. They still didn't touch on that. Uh, there was talk about uh, a v PlayStation VR 2, which makes me think a separate system. So, yeah, same. right there, separate system. I no, I think that that would probably be a chip. I think that that would be a chip that you plug into your USB drive to convert your system's processor into that VR 2. Maybe that's the point of the USB on the back of the controller, so that way you don't have to have all that extra gear and motion controllers. You can just plug that in, and there's your motion controller. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's a good thought, That would make man. more sense to me. No, no, I don't want to say that with absolute certainty, because I did kind of sound confident when I said that, but I think that's probably what would happen, Would they? is that they would add that into as a... Um, Jesus. Sorry, I just got attacked by a very large creature that I wasn't expecting to be there. Um, <laughs> what game are you playing? I'm playing Metro when I just got attacked by a demon. You know, the winged creatures that swoop right. down and grab you like a bird and take you off. Yeah, right. I know um, what you mean. Oh. Um, d did anyone else hear the... There were rumors at this point because when I have read into it, I don't see it being there, but do you guys know whether or not they are actually going to add the scuff option, the scuff conversion option to your FPS games and you're on the controller for the PS5, do you know? I have no confirmation. The, uh, I've heard that the PS5 controllers themselves will be coming as standard scuff controllers. That's what I heard. That's that w that was what the rumor was, but I don't want to misinform people. But at the same time, I also want to find out whether or not that would is, is true. Uh, because Chad, uh, if, if anybody in chat knows if that's fact, could you let us know, actually? Absolutely. Yes, we, we appreciate any feedback from our viewers. Yeah. 